This is the plaintiff, Pauline Cooper. She says she bought a china cabinet from the defendant's store. And when it was delivered, his moving guys broke the glass in the door. He promised to fix it. She's been waiting and waiting for him to come to her house to replace the broken glass. And she's plum tired of waiting around any longer for this guy who's simply given her the royal runaround. So finally, it's judgment day because she's suing him for the 500 bucks she's owed. This is the defendant, Ruben Domatov. He says the plaintiff bought some floor models, and unfortunately, the glass pane in her china cabinet broke on delivery. He ordered her a new one, has repeatedly tried to schedule a time to install it, but the woman never answers her phone. He has the glass panel for her. He's tired of trying to chase her down for the install, so if she wants it, it's hers. He's accused of breaking a customer's heart. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the dock of the plaintiff bought a china cabinet from the defendant and the delivery guys busted it up. But the defendant says he's tried to replace the glass, but she's not responding. It's the case of all I want is a piece of glass. Thank you, Douglas. Pauline Cooper, you are suing Italian Furniture Warehouse represented here by Mr. Domatov. Okay, um, for $500 that you want returned to you, $280 for a china cabinet glass replacement and the rest for time off work. Tell me what happened here. Okay, um, last year I can remember I went into his furniture store and uh, basically I was trying to find a can to replace my china closet, china cabinet in my house. I went and I saw something that I had liked. I bought it, I paid with my debit card because I didn't have cash with me. And we made a deal. We signed the agreement and, and so forth. And then when he's delivering the furniture, what goes wrong? What goes wrong is that upon delivery, after two weeks waiting, after a day of promise, the 27, I took off from work. Nobody answered the phone. I keep calling the, the, thir the Wednesday, the Thursday, the Friday. The Sunday I went there. I went there and um, I went into the store because nobody answered the phone. What happened to the delivery? That was supposed to be on the Wednesday. When I went into the store, his dad. His dad? His dad. Okay. Um, and my son, both my son and I, and we went into the store and I said, what happened? I've been calling. Nobody answering the phone. What happened to my delivery? What happened? And you what know? did he say? And, so, and he said, Oh my God, I was supposed to tell you we have a Jewish holiday, something like that, and I was supposed to make you know. But I said, you should have called me instead of I being calling you. And uh, definitely right away, he turned to my son, which I'm sorry he's not here today, and he said, oh ma'am, your mom is a good woman. Your mom is a good woman because she been waiting on me. So now that a delivery date is set up and they do deliver it that right. day. And when they deliver it, they break a glass? On, on their way up to my apartment, they broke the, the, the glass. Okay. Do you, and you guys acknowledge that, that you broke a glass. I that happened on what day? That happened on the Wednesday, um, the 4th. That's the 10th, of October. Okay. And then what do they tell you about the broken glass? They'll replace it? They will replace it in, pre in the presence of my daughter. Okay. And then how, how much time passed before you had to file a lawsuit because they wouldn't replace it? They, it's like, I would say five months. So for five months, what was happening? You would call them? I and would call them. They hang the phone up or they would not answer the telephone. So how do you come up with the $280 figure for the glass? Because if I have to I have somebody repair it. Do you have it? an estimate to prove uh, it? Yes. May I yes. see the estimate? Not, not, no, it's my neighbor. Oh, and I no, know. that's not how it works. Okay. You, you I, came I to court to, to sue for that, so yes. I would have to see. Okay. Do you have a picture of the china cabinet? Sure, sure. And if you see my hand through the glass, yes, it's true. Okay, I'm confused. What am I looking at? <laughs> yes, you're looking your hand is through. Oh, the is it a shelf? Piece. It's 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 a glass that right. But is it the glass that goes yes, this way, or yes. is it a shelf? No, that goes the one this? that goes this way. Is it this piece? No. No, no. no it's at the side of where I'm standing. It's there. So is it a narrow piece of glass? How how wide? He claims he brought the glass here. Can we? Uh, can you unravel that? Because I saw you hit the door as you were coming in. I want to make sure you didn't crack uh, it. Didn't bring a box cutter, but. Uh, do we have a box cutter? He measured it. He measured yeah, it. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure it looks right to you. But uh, so why do? Why does she have to file a lawsuit to get you to pay attention? 
Oh. Well, I'm going to have to agree with some things that she said, and one of those things is that she is a great person, and she was a pleasure to work with. Oh, that's lovely. So why did she have to sue you to get you to pay attention to her? Who knows why she has to sue me? What do you mean, who knows I, why? I, I'm, that that's only I, you can answer that. I'm trying that. to figure that out. Okay. I have she says that for five that months she patiently her. waited for the glass. Is that I, true or not true? She has not answered. I have call logs that I've left messages for her. I have evidence. I could show you. Show yeah, I'd like to see it. Absolutely. Do you have phone records? Yes. There's five pages. And since when have you had the piece of glass? Uh, since October 24th, 2017, I have an invoice. If you'd like to see it, I can pass that up yes, as well. Please. It also has an estimate and the price, and it was paid for and picked up. That's when her uh, layaway also... Were you leaving messages? Because one of these is a three-minute... Three-minute message, absolutely. Yeah. That was the message. So what's... Is this not your number? 516... Yes, it is. Okay, he's got phone records showing he called you like every week since October 24th to get you to pick up the glass. I don't know what number is One of the in. Well, that, that number I just said yes, is what the phone record is. Yes. That's exact. there's no mystery. And then one of these messages, at least one is three minutes long. The one minute ones could be hangups, I don't know. But one minute is long enough to leave a message. That was the last one, I was just, I left the message and... And left. the other ones, what did you do? To, I'm not gonna go to her house and show up at the well, piece and The other ones, what did you do? The I, ones that are one minute long, would you leave a message always? I wouldn't always leave a message. I would wait for a call back. Wait, I'm sorry, you would always leave a message? Wouldn't always leave a message. You would not always leave a message? No. What would you do if you didn't get a call from if her. If there's two calls in a row, let's say, I left the message on the second one. If there's one call, I waited for a call back. Wait, how could you get a call back if you don't leave a message? She has my caller ID. So, I have a question. When you call people, do you, if, if, if they see your caller ID and they don't answer, do you leave a voicemail or do you just hang up? Uh, I definitely leave a voicemail. It, you know, I want them to know what I'm calling for and what I'm referring to um, for this particular. Do you do you leave a voicemail? I feel like it depends on the circumstance because in terms of like a business, yes, I would feel like I would leave a, a voicemail at the end. But if it's someone close to me, I don't feel like it's necessary. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. How old are you? I'm 23. Let me explain something to you, 23-year-old businessman. The rest of humanity is not so... How old are you? I'm so, uh, You're older than 23, okay? <laughs> the rest of us didn't grow up with this garbage. Stop Absolutely. and don't, why are you this. talking while I'm saying something? Don't talk. We don't look at a missed call, panic, and start calling back our missed calls. Leave a message. That's universal. Universal, okay? It's child's play to just assume that the other person well, they saw that it was a missed call. That's not, I have told this to my children on I don't know how many different occasions, that if they think I've got the kind of time it takes <laughs> to scroll through missed calls, they've got another thing coming. So if you're gonna enter the professional world where you are gonna deal with something more than 23 year olds, you need to know that. You leave a message each time in any event. So um, this piece of glass, did you open it up? Is it You perfect? want me to open it up? It's perfect, I just Can you, was waiting for I the box. Who opened it up? You guess, opened it up? I, didn't open, I just cut it open. You can do it. Okay. Take a look and make sure there's no nicks or cracks on it. Don't drop it. <laughs> All right, it where does that go? This goes on the side of a china cabinet. Okay. The china cabinet has doors, uh -huh. four doors, I believe, and shelves. Shelves are not damaged. One side guys got damaged. All right, and then how does that get installed into the side of this that thing? That gets installed with the uh, rubber cement. Do you want them to install that appropriately, or uh, would you rather not have contact with them anymore? I really don't want to contact, okay. I don't, they're not trustworthy. Okay, I can understand your frustration and your desire not to do business with them again. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna order that piece of glass put on that table, and uh, I am going to order an additional $150 to get somebody over there to adhere, I know it's ridiculous, but you know, if you guys had just sent somebody over there, we wouldn't be in this position. Thank you. No time off of work. Um, so that's $150 verdict for the plaintiff. That's my verdict.
Well, the plaintiff gets a judgment for $150. I understand your position. Um, I stand by my products, and she didn't want to pick up on the calls. She didn't want to accept the glass. Maybe she had an uh, ulterior motive, but she got her money back. Okay, good. Thank I'm you very happy. much. I'm happy that everything good. worked out. Very good. Okay, good enough. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ms. Cooper. You getting that piece of glass? You get 150 bucks? Thank you. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm satisfied. At least now I have that piece that was a little uh, it, it missing. It seems like it's been there for months. Um, you know? and yes, it's sitting in my house without a piece of no, glass. No, I mean the piece of glass. It's no, been sitting, no, it's 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 never. October, res October 24th. Never respond to none of my. I spoke to his dad January. Yeah. Okay. January 2018, not 17. Okay. And he never told me that they had. So I would have. Maybe I mean, he didn't know. I don't know. Okay. But anyway. You're going to get the glass. You're going to get some money. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Congratulations. sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Harvey? Doug, the defendant was super smart uh, bringing phone records into court. In, in a court of law, evidence is king. 